a little while ago, someone doing a Kickstarter project asked me if I could help them with their air quality monitor they wanted to integrate into their product. And fortunately, I did not know anything about gas sensors and air quality monitors. Fortunately, IC Station jumped in and sent me one of these MQ7 gas sensors. And they're really not easy to work with. Specifically, the MQ7 uh, is a bit different from the rest of the bunch. Fortunately, they also sent me an Arduino clone, an Arduino Leonardo, well, nicely branded. And uh, we'll use these two and see how far we get. Should make for an interesting video. Now, the way IC Station has intended these modules to be used is connect the ground pin, there's an analog out, a digital out, and a VCC pin. Now, this digital out just means you've got an, an op amp in a comparator configuration and you can set a trigger level on a trimmer. And first, I'll breadboard this module the way that IC Station has intended it, which means we connect the the 5 volts for the VCC and the ground pin of course and then the interesting bit is the analog out which is, let's see, which is the one next to the ground pin and now I'll connect that to the Arduino compatible board here to this IC station Leonardo ground pin connection plus 5 volt connection and of course the analog zero analog in and that's pretty easy to read uh, if you've got the Arduino IDE one of the basic examples is the analog serial read example uh, that's going to read the value from analog zero and uh, print it on the serial port. So what I do is that I, at the very end of the sketch, I change the delay to 1000 milliseconds, which means that uh, we will get one sample uh, per second and we can see it settling a bit and if I breathe on it it means that my breath is poisonous. No, no it's not. Of course it means that the moisture in my breast does affect the the sensor. If we try it again we have the same thing. So it's not just uh, carbon monoxide uh, detecting, it's also affected by moisture and ambient temperature. And we got to take this in account if we if we want to really use it. So all these sensors, the whole MQ series does detect a lot of different gases and MQ7 takes a special configuration to be uh, sensitive to carbon monoxide, which is it's got to run at a at full blast heating 5 volts at 124 milliamps for 60 seconds and then it's got to go down to 1.4 volts for 90 seconds before it's red and i made this um the simulation here because we can pulse with modulate the the heater um from the from the Arduino and and we can use the uh, end channel MOSFET as a as a switch here, which is pretty simple. And in in my simulation, it works nicely. You can see the the five volts here on the heater now. And if it works in reality as well as it worked in the simulation, uh, we should get a better signal from this configuration than from the original configuration. So we use this end channel MOSFET as a switch here really and I connect this uh, 
the gate to um, digital 13 on the Leonardo board, which is the same pin that the onboard LED connects to. And so we get a visual representation of uh, of the current PWM state. If it's fully on, we know that it's at 5 volt, and if it's it's dim, we know that we're currently at the uh, 1.4 volt phase. So what this sketch here that you find in my blog uh, does is it, it switches the heater on fully for 60 seconds as recommended in the data sheet, and then it brings it down to an equivalent of 1.4 volts for 90 seconds and at the end of that 90 second cycle we uh, briefly bring the uh, voltage back up to 5 volts because that's the voltage at that we are supposed to read the sensor but just briefly so it does not heat up because it's coupled and if i left that on in my in my lab for a while uh, we can see some fluctuations and the interesting bit is that the peaks is at times when I was in the lab. To do a test with real carbon monoxide, we gotta get ourselves some carbon monoxide. And if I place this candle under a jar, it should use up all of the uh, oxygen to the point where um, where the reaction is incomplete and up, uh, rather than carbon dioxide, we should get carbon monoxide before the flame goes out. And now we can see the, um, the wax fumes here in the jar. Looks rather creepy. I'll let that settle a bit. I don't know how those wax fumes will, uh, will affect the sensor probably not necessarily a good thing so i place it under the jar quickly and now we got the original configuration uh, the way that ic station intended it and that should give us a spike going from around 30 to 200 and something so that gives us something like a delta of a bit less than 200 counts it and if i do the same thing with the modified circuit with the pwm circuit we get nearly 400 uh reads of difference so the signal to noise ratio with this circuit that you see here is way better and you find all that on www.areresearch.net bye for now